welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a Filipino mom in the UK. Pero, yeah, British citizen na din ako. Pero, yeah, Filipino mom in the UK. Literally Filipino by blood. So, before we start, please like this video and subscribe na din kayo para uh, maging friends tayo. And click nyo na din yung bell button para ma-notify kayo sa mga future videos ko. O, diba? So, let's start. Um, ang ating topic ngayon from the title of this video is um, What do I do? What is my job in the UK? Am I just a full-time mom? Am I getting some allowance from my husband or something? Ano ba yung ginagawa ko? Ano ba yung trabaho ko? So, um, back in 2012, 2012, I, no, 2000. Yes, 2012, I started a job in October as a carer. So, six months din ako uh, as a carer. So, uh, mahirap ah. Uh. So, first job ko is a carer. I'm a five foot half inches. So, uh, para mabilis, mabilisan na lang, uh, i-round up ko na, i-round down ko nga eh, five foot, sabi ko. I'm five foot. And... One in back in 2012, yung size ko is size six, very small, small, extra small to small sa Pilipinas. Sa UK size is size six, means and size four. Sa kids size pa nga ako eh. Ayun, um, yun nga part sa ibang video na gagawin natin is struggle sa UK. Um, is finding my size back then, size six to eight. Imagine a five foot na babae, size 6 to 8, which in UK, which is extra small. Naudlot ang ating video kasi nag-full ang aking memory, ang aking storage. So, imagine a um, 5 foot size 6 or say extra small na babae, which is me, na working as a carer. So, pag nasa Pilipinas tayo, I remember when I was in the Philippines, um, ang, ang gusto ko lang ay makapag-abroad with whatever the job is, carer man yan, nurse man yan, or whatever. By the way, I forgot to say and tell you that I'm a um, registered nurse in the Philippines. I don't practice nurse in the UK for um, um, personal reason. So, uh, sa panibagong video, sa ibang video natin gawin yun, um, so, continue, uh, to continue, I, ayun, um, what I do was, firstly, nung nakuha ko yung, um, trabaho na yun, so, na-interview ako, and, it turned out, so, ganito pala yun, so, uh, I wasn't driving back then, um, nag-register lang ako mag-learn how to drive, so, my husband was working, um, we were still living with my parents-in-law. So, yung mga parents-in-law ko sobrang supportive since day one. So, my father-in-law was driving me sa lahat ng kung saan man ako may appointment, kung magsishopping man ako, drop niya ako sa bus stop or something. Otherwise, um, uh, walking distance naman yung bus stop. Anyway, um, so, he was helping me dropping my resume, my CV, to the local care care home. So, nag-drop ako sa isa, dalawa, sa bandang, um, hindi siya super local sa amin. You need to take a bus or you need to drive. So, um, my father-in-law dropped me there and then I submitted my, my, um, CV, my resume. So, it turned out, yung manager nung isa, yung sa pangalawang uh, inano ko, uh, pinagbigyan ko ng resume. So, my manager, the manager was there. Uh, she's also registered nurse in the Philippines. And, she turned out to be Filipina, which uh, happened to um, to be my close friend now. So, so, before then, hindi pa kami friends, of course. But, um, I think she asked me, or the senior, senior carer asked me, are you Filipina? So they learned that I was Filipina. And then the senior carer said, um, why don't you interview her now? Because she said, the manager said, come back on this day, da 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 da. And then 
and then but the senior manager said why don't you interview her now because they were really looking for a care so um she interviewed me then and then and then i think i filled up something and then she said just bring this uh you need um cb cbt or cbr it's like um complete it's like they check if you have a criminal record so i'm gonna do another video of that so and dami natin pag-uusapan sa channel na to nakalist na yan ang daming nakalinya so ayun requirements mga requirements uh kung paano ka sabi okay parang nagpass parang i pass sa preliminary uh, test para ganun yung interview nag parang nagpass ako ganun okay sabi niya um sub, uh, apply for this parang ayun na nga criminal record check check uh, kung nagpass uh, tag dito kung uh, nakuha mo na yon ipass mo sa akin plus this and that da 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 da, da and then yeah so um in short uh, na na clear ako lahat of course i haven't got any criminal record so lahat uh, address proof of address and everything pinasko sabi niya okay you can start on this date so october i remember i started there november december january march part of march or april i just ended the six months i resigned at six months so it was really really difficult for me every time na umuwi ako ay masakit ang ang tao dito ang likod ko kasi you have to lift you don't lift them as a baby like this yung mga patient pero matatanda yan elderly they need help they need assistance hindi sila makaupo ng ma, uh, sarili nila minsan most of them are in wheelchair na yung iba na may crutch or yung crane o yung pinupush nilang ganang may wheels so most of the time yung mga uh, client namin, patient namin doon is naka wheelchair. So, kailangan mo talagang minsan dalawa kayo, pero minsan ikaw lang uh, oo, tapos ipupush mo sa wheelchair Ma mabigat ang trabaho sa care. Kaya, lahat ng mga Pilipino, especially tayo maliliit tayo, di ba? Asian eh. Uh, ang hirap, hirap. In short, so minimum minimum wage ka, which back then, parang 6 pounds something pa, 2012. Pero ngayon siguro minimum wage, hindi ko na alam kasi I, I haven't worked anymore for someone. So, I will research that and put it on the screen. So, ayun, I work um, most, I can't remember anymore, 2012. So, ayun, um, tapos you have to work, parang ano din yan eh, healthcare prof professional kayo eh, 24-7 bukas kayo. So, yung... Pasko, New Year, mga ganyan, special holiday, bukas kayo. So, ayun, after six months, dahil ang hirap-hirap talaga ng um, uh, sitwasyon, ang um, nanang trabaho, physical eh, physical yung trabaho eh, hindi siya yung you use your, um, just sitting down and typing and use your brain and things like that, mostly physical, pero you need to be good at planning. So, um, maybe it's good as well to make a video kung ano talaga yung ginagawa ng carer para, para if you are planning to go to the UK to work as a carer alam nyo may background kayo at least may intro kayo kung anong gagawin nyo hindi lang yung oh gusto ko yan malaking pera yan so maliit lang ang sahod most Filipinos I know that uh, yung isang Filipina na nakatrabaho doon dalawa, tatlo, apat yung mga trabaho niya. So, may full-time job siya in in the hospital, something like that. And then, may tatlong, o dalawa o tatlong part-time job siya. Honestly, sa day off niya nagtatrabaho siya. Ganyan talaga kasi pag yung mga Filipina, mga Pinoy dito. Kasi, ma, mababa lang ang sahod eh, di ba? So, pero kasi may pamilya sila sa Pilipinas. So, malaki yung, pag i-convert mo, malaki Pero kung dito ka naninirahan, maliit lang. Kasi malaka, malaki yung um, cost of living dito. Okay, number two na trabaho ko o naging trabaho ko dito sa UK. So, I applied for a job. Hmm, I can't remember anymore exactly. I need to put it on the screen kung kailan yung uh, ako nag-start. Pero, I was a pharmacy. Nag-work ako sa pharmacy. I 
remember and oh my god it's been ages so nagwork ako sa pharmacy as um parang healthcare worker then uh sa pharmacy maganda so you serve on the till uh you answer telephone basta you serve most of the customer ikaw yung first line ng uh customer ko so so um if dumating yung uh patient hindi naman patient customer sa pharmacy sa pharmacy or chemist mostly they call this chemist here pharmacy sa US or uh, sa Philippines pero pharmacy kilala din yan so chemist i work in the chemist as a healthcare worker so um sa till kami so first day training lang ako yon assist lang ako sa coworker ko kung ano yung ginagawa uh, minimum wage din yon ha per ha, per hour so, parang six, seven to eight hours. Eight hours yata ako, tas may one hour break ka, which is paid. Uh, which, you need to take that one hour. Um, tapos, uh, yun lang, pag dumating yung tao sa chemist, sabi niya, do you, do you have this? Can I buy this? Paracetamol. Do you have this? So, firstly, kung gusto nilang mag, mag, ma, bumili, whatever it is, you have to do the till. Ikaw yon. So, ako yon. Ako yon, uh, first line and then if mag mag inquire sila sabi um can i have something i i need something for my throat it really hurts um pag naglulunok ako masakit ano yung kailangan kong uh, inumin uh, what would you suggest so ayun um while we are working we have to do study. We have to study yung module. So, iuuwi mo yung module na yun, study mo, tapos parang mag exam ka para maging uh, pasado ka. So, para kapag nagtanong yung pasyente or yung customer, alam mo yung isasagot. Ganun yun. Kailangan yun dito. So, nag-aaral ka din. Yun lang yung downside talaga. Pero, hindi ka kailangan na may tinapos, whatever. Um, it depends na lang sa manager kung matatapos kung i iha hire kanya so pharmacy manager yon so ayon so ano pa yung ginagawa mo uh, maglilinis ka din mag uh, lalagay ng mga stock sa sa front shop yung front shop kasi yun yung not um ang tawag dito hindi yung nireresetahan hindi yung lahat ng nasa back of the shop back of the till kailangan yun may reseta well not everything um sa sa back pala yon sa stock room parang ganun. So back of the till uh, yun yung mga kailangan may advice yung healthcare profession professional. So lahat ng mga uh, paracetamol minsan nandoon, mga cream, mga lotion nasa labas. I mean nasa outside, nasa shop. Okay. So yun pwede yun kahit walang advice yung uh, healthcare uh, support. Pero pag sa back of the till, like ibuprofen, 3 days lang yan, mga paracetamol, kailangan hindi mo yan iinumin with some uh, medicine na may paracetamol na. For example, cocodamol, hindi mo kailangan inu inumin yung cocodamol with paracetamol. Mga ganon, kailangan alam mo. So, I work there, I think because uh, dahil sa aking abilidad, mm, and <laughs> nag kasi yung isang pharmacy assistant. So, dalawa na, isa na lang yung natira. Kailangan dalawa para relyebo. Siguro wala din silang choice. Hindi pa niya ako masyadong uh, kilala or alam magtrabaho. Pero, um, ako yung young. Ako yung bata eh. So, meron silang mga 60 plus. May dalawa akong katrabaho na, oh, tatlo. Na parang isa yung 50. Yung, yung dalawa parang 60 magre-retire na. Yung isa mga 40 to 50. So, apat yan na katrabaho ko. Ako yung 30, age 30, on the age of 30-ish. So, siguro kaya ako yung pinili ng pharmacy, uh, pharmacist namin na sabi, um, would you like to work um, as a pharmacy assistant? I can train you. So, ayun, medyo mataas yung sahod. Tapos, you are working at the back with the pharmacy, uh, with the pharmacist. Uh, so, yung nag-aano kayo, yung nagagawa ka ng um, pharmacy assistant. So, you are the one, oh my God, nafugot, uh, nafugot ko na yung mga term na ginagamit. Uh, yun, yun, ikaw yung maglalagay ng mga label. <laughs> Pag halimbawa, mag-aano uh, ka ng reseta, yun, ikaw lahat magagawa noon. Tapos, ibibigay, ilalined up mo lahat yun sa pharmacist. 
siya yung mag-check kung tama yung ginawa mo, kung tama yung binigay mo, tapos isa-sign lang niya. So, basically, uh, ikaw yung assistant ng pharmacy. Paano ganun? So, yung mga healthcare support or healthcare professional na yung sa till lang, yung first line lang, hindi sila pwedeng mag, uh, mag, magagawa ng mga ganun. Nakalimutan ko na yung term. Oh my God! I need to put them on the screen. It's been 8 to 9 years. So, and then, I got pregnant in, nag-start ako maaga din, yun na ah. Parang nag-start ako ng May or April, April, May, 2000, 2013. 13 din, medyo few months lang ako nagpahinga tapos nag-apply na ako. Tanggap agad ako. Uh, gusto ko kasi sana mag-apply as a, parang, in in the healthcare system then pero ayoko muna sa hospital uh, nas nas stress ako sa ano sa graveyard yung shifting so um, nag apply ako as a receptionist sa GP practice yung surgery yung tawag dito yung receptionist ka so uh, hindi ako natawag or anything yun nag apply ako sa pharmacy kung meron sila ayun meron nga natanggap ako So, yun yung second job ko. I worked there, oh, ilang, ilang months pa. I have to check. Honestly, I, I keep forgetting, yeah. Um, so, uh, nabuntis ako. Oh, I started in June. Tapos nabuntis ako ng, I got pregnant with Tristan in, um, October yata yun. October, I found out I was pregnant. October or November. Oh, baka December. Oh my God. January, February, March. Oh yeah, November. Parang end ng November. Tapos na Christmas party kami as a as a group. Um, sa Bell Seat, yun yung favorite naming uh, Italian restaurant ng, ng family ko. So, um, sabi ko, uh, I don't drink. Ay, hindi talaga ako umiinom kasi namumula ako. So, I... I, I, me and my husband, sabi namin, huwag na tayong uminom kasi nag-stop na din siya uminom. I stopped drinking. I was only drinking kasi umiinom siya. So, it's like socializing in in the UK to drink. Uh, drinking is to socialize in the UK. Parang ganun. So, we stopped drinking. I said to my, sabi ko sa mga ka-worker, ka-work ko, hindi ako umiinom, I'm just gonna order Coke. Sabi na, hmm? Why don't you don't drink? Sabi, ang feeling nila, buntis ako dahil hindi ako may inom. So, it's, that's not the reason kasi hindi na talaga ako may inom noon. So, par, part of it is, yes, maybe, um, because I'm pregnant. That's why I really can't drink. Pero, nag-ano ako nung, pwede din naman eh, one glass of wine every day is okay. So, I, I think I had some pims. So, that's a mixture of gin, pang gano. Yun lang. Pero, namula pa rin ako. Grabe. Namula pa rin ako. So, oh, did I? No, I didn't. That was a different party I went. Yeah. That was a different party I went. When isa, isa sa mga co-worker namin ay aalis na. Ayun, nag-party pala kami. Nag, uh, nag-dinner pala kami sa Bell Seat. Pero, nung nag-Christmas party kami, hindi talaga ako uminom. Ayun. So, um, ayun, I, I went on my maternity leave nung July, 39 weeks. <laughs> 39 weeks ba? 37 weeks, sabi ko. May 3 weeks pa kasi dito full term, 40 weeks, diba? Yun, yun yung mga anak na talaga. Uh, pwede ka nang mag-leave. Uh, anytime naman pwede mag-leave, kahit 8 months ka. So, 35 weeks, pwede na. So, nag-leave, sabi ko, First baby ko pa naman, mag-live ako 37 weeks. So, nag-live ako 37 weeks. Um, oh, 36 weeks. Yung live ko, nakapas na, na-approve na ng 37 weeks. Kaso, sobrang init. Tapos, nag talagang hindi ko na kaya yung... Nakatayo ko kasi, kasi yung computer mataas. Talagang walang upo-upo dito, yung sa pharmacy. Tapos, sabi ko... Sabi ko sa manager namin, hindi ko na kaya. Sabi ko, I have to leave. So, nag-ano ako, yung short notice na I have to do my maternity leave, put it forward. So, 36 weeks, 
and ng 36 tweets. Parang Friday na yun, ayun, nag-leave na ako. Alam nyo ba, the next week, nanganak ako. So, 37 weeks na ako nung, so, for example, like, uh, 37 weeks ako ng that week, ayun lang, nanganak nanganak ako that week. So, parang, so, last day ko, Feb, uh, Friday, so, nag-weekend pa ako, nag, the whole week pa ako, pero yung Saturday evening, so, um, seven days na spend ko sa family ko, <laughs> kay Seth, <laughs> sa husband ko. Pero, yung Saturday, nag-start na ako mag-labor. Yung cramps na talaga, yung pain na talaga, pero 40 weeks ako nag-labor um, bago ako mag so, anyway, ayun, yung second job ko, and then I, I, I had a maternity leave, um, after two months, nag-move kami ng uh, flat, yung flat ng asawa ko, two-bedroom flat, tapos, um, I finished my whole, uh, one-year maternity leave, yung six months kasi, full pay yon yung six months, after six months to one year, half pay na lang half pay na lang. So, in the, in the UK, you can get maternity pay. Pero yung asawa ko, hindi siya nag paternity leave kasi um, um, mahirap kasi dito. Yung parang ganun. Um, ano, uh, depends din. Depende rin sa trabaho nyo. Kasi, um, pwedeng maging mainit sa'yo yung kumpanya mo, i-fire ka niya, parang ganun. So, anyway, I then pass submit my resignation. Sabi ko, um, no longer want to work. Ayun. I submitted my resignation. So, ayun, yun yung last job ko. Um, I pursue being a full-time mom, not getting anything. Um, I, I have some savings. I have had some savings from my past job. So, um, yun, 2014 ako ng anak, ba? Tapos, uh, 2015 ako nag-submit ng resignation. That was uh, July na yata yun. Sub nag-submit na ako ng resignation. So, July. Tapos, that June 2015, I felt pregnant with Peyton. Um, it wasn't an accident. It was actually a plan. So, mahirap, pero uh, we tried to have a short gap between these two. So, ayun, nanganak ako March, the next year, 2016. Uh, so, dalawa na yung under 3 years old ko sa 2016. Um, no panganganak. Ayun, nag-start ako, after noon, wala na talaga ako, 2016, wala na talaga akong work. Nag-start ako mag-sell ng bits and bobs, whatever it is. That's it. I only had two job, two job that I worked for someone since 2012. So, from 2016, gagawin natin ng ibang vlog, I started selling on uh, selling plot, plot form, platform like eBay, Depop, um, may isa pa dito, Vinted, mga ganyan. Yun. Yun yung tatlong platform na nag-start ako mag-sell. Yung mga bits and bobs lang naman. Yung mga, for example, used clothes, used bag, yung mga hindi ko na kailangan. I started selling those and then nainganyo ako. So, I started buying something in wholesale and then I resell them on eBay. Tamataas yung fees. So, anyway, I only had two jobs so far in the UK that I worked for someone. So, since March uh, 2016, I started um, my own business and it's now March 2022. So, it's been six years that I've been doing this business. Medyo malaki na din and I'm proud of it. I started very small with just one item. So, ayun, um, talagang mahilig ta talaga tayo sa business, mga, mga Pilipino. Kasi yung mga, yung parents ko din, yung parents ko din mahilig. Uh, tawag dito. Hanggang ngayon nagbe-business pa eh. Pero since I was little, may business sila. So, talaga nasa dugo ko na. So, anyway, napahaba na ang ating video for today. I only had two job that I worked for someone. So, that is clear. Clear pa sa water. Crystal clear. So, ayun. Um, thank you so much. That's the end of our uh, video for today. 
Thank you so much for watching. Sana i-like nyo itong video. Uh, subscribe na kayo at click nyo na din yung notification bell para ano, uh, ma-notify kayo kapag nag upload ako ng um, mga new videos. O, diba? So, thank you so much. Comment down below kung ano yung gusto nyo uh, itanong sa akin. Kung ano yung gusto nyo i-film ko, anong topic. Uh, Maka-help din nyo na. At ililista ko lahat at i-film lahat natin. So, thank you so much. Have a lovely day, everyone. Bye!